Hey there, I'm Hamish McDonald. I'm a journalist and presenter. As an award-winning journalist, Hamish McDonald is usually reporting the news. However, he became the news in 2019 when the public discovered that he was gay. I'm excited to be meeting Hamish at the birthplace of Mardi Gras. Oxford Street, built and created by Dawn O'Donnell, I believe, back really? in the 70s. She was a lesbian who thought, I've got an idea, let's centralise the gay district and bought a bunch of pubs up and down the strip. She had her finger on the pulse. She did. What does Oxford Street mean to you? I think it's a space that when you're young and starting to understand yourself, you can see what you are and what you're not and what's possible. I certainly have memories of being at Stonewall on those nights where there's three levels and you're kind of making out with someone on every different level <laughs> oh, and moving up and down love the levels. A passion dash. Yeah. I think most of our sort of young memories of Oxford Street are probably best left consigned to history. And in a pre-social media world. Yeah, totally. So, a couple of years ago, yeah. you made news headlines yes. by holding hands with your partner at an award ceremony. Yeah. It was a bit of a surprise that it became such news. I did something that felt to me the most natural thing in the world, which was hold Jake's hand. It was really a very simple gesture of care. We were kind of flooded with messages from all over the world, from people saying how happy they were and what it meant. And so I feel really proud to make it really clear that we should all be able to be who we are, come what may. Isn't it amazing how powerful that, like, that one gesture can be? The change when it does happen, it feels like it's happened very quickly, but actually change happens over a, a really long period of time. You know, in recent years, Australia legalised same-sex marriage, and then I remember being here on Oxford Street that day and, and sort of being swept up in that extraordinary day. 61.6% .6 of people in Australia voted yes. It's yeah. such a lovely, nourishing thought to me. For me, it was a real revelation to see that my home community in the Snowy Mountains had voted yes by a massive margin. Yeah, and it's not just about marriage, I think, it's about equality. It's really important to remember what the origins of Mardi Gras are and that it is about making a very big statement about the need for acceptance, for tolerance, for growth as a community. 2022, we will have returned to Oxford Street. Yes. We will be able to have a click and a shimmy up at Taylor Square. We can do more than a click and a shimmy, can't we? We can do a slut drop. I would love that. Happy Mardi Gras. You too.